And we're back. So we've talked about human behavior, we've talked about how energy underpins our economic system, and now we're going to start to fit all these things together. So this third set of videos is going to talk about systems, ecology, uh, our human impact on the environment, and offer a framework for how to view the future, how to put all this together, and we're going to conclude with a list of suggestions on how to take this on board as a college student, what it means for your studies, what it means for your career, and for the future of being alive in the 21st century. These videos inform the big picture, and understanding the big picture gives us the potential to steer towards desired outcomes. But the information in these videos doesn't really get at the vision of what we want in the future. So before we delve into ecology and systems, I'll share my personal vision. When you're my age, say around 2050, I'd like to see your children inhabit a Minnesota and a world in which they can live lives full of happiness, health, and meaning, in spite of probably a general decline in our physical wealth and stuff, while at the same time avoiding the worst humanitarian and ecological consequences of our current system's blindness. And this intermediate term vision happening in your lifetimes links to a longer term vision in the lifetimes of your great, great, great grandchildren, which is really not so far away, about the same time in the future as the time from when we started using fossil carbon to boost the human endeavor. My vision is that your great, great, great grandchildren share a world with creatures like hummingbirds, elephants, and dolphins and are aware that they are part of and stewards of nature. This is a vision because it's not at all certain to occur, while many things we culturally expect today will probably not occur. Okay, let's get started.